what is up everybody it is jt sports i am back to you guys with another video and i'm here with my houston texans 2021 rec prediction going to be giving you guys my best case scenario my worst case scenario and my overall rec prediction for the texans this season before i get into it if you haven't already make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel that you turn on post notifications so you don't miss when i upload a new video and most importantly help brother out Hit that like button. That like button is really important because when you hit that like button, you help the channel rank higher in the YouTube search algorithm. If I rank higher in the YouTube search algorithm, then the channel gets more views and the channel grows. So hit that like button. It takes less than a second to do. And it's a free way to support and help the channel. The Houston Texans last year finished in third place in the AFC South with a record of 4-12. and And they fired Bill O'Brien, had an interim head coach. They bring in a new head coach. And there's a lot of people who are not high on Houston this year. Mainly because Deshaun Watson is not going to be playing. Now, Tyrod Taylor is expected to get the nod if Deshaun Watson does indeed decide to sit out this year and doesn't take a snap at QB for Houston. And then you have rookie quarterback Davis Mills, who a lot of people are really high on. I was really high on him coming out of the draft as well. But it looks like it's going to be Tyrod's job to lose if Deshaun Watson ends up not playing this year. And I like Tyrod Taylor a lot. Tyrod Taylor got kind of got kind of done wrong when he was with the Chargers with the whole fiasco that happened before the game against Kansas City, which ended up leading to Justin Herbert having to start. And we know what happened after that. Justin Herbert has been great ever since. And there was a similar situation that happened with Tyrod Taylor in Cleveland, which he had to leave the game to an injury. Baker Mayfield came in and Tyrod Taylor, his job was taken after that. So I'm really happy to see Tyrod Taylor getting another opportunity to start at quarterback. And this very well may be the last chance that Tyrod Taylor may ever have of being a starting quarterback in the NFL. So I'm really glad to see Tyrod Taylor getting the opportunity. But I mean, this is a Houston Texans team that is not really good. I mean, there are Texans fans who are pretty high on the off the line, understandably, but the wide receiver position is probably the worst in the NFL. You got Brandon Cooks, He's pretty solid, but outside of that, you got nothing but a bunch of slot receivers. Kiki QT, Randall Cobb, even though Randall Cobb had his moments last year. But overall, um, the Texans, they're not really a great team. So my best case scenario for Houston this year is 4-13. This team won four games with Deshaun Watson last year. And this year, it's kind of really hard to see them winning a lot of games without Deshaun Watson. But... I mean, they could steal a couple of these games. You do got to play Jacksonville. You could split with Jacksonville. You do have to face teams like the Jets. So that could be a win there. Maybe you can steal a game against Arizona or Indianapolis or somebody like that. But, I mean, I don't really think that this schedule is all that easy. As a matter of fact, I think that Houston does have one of the toughest schedules in the league this year. So best case scenario, I see this team winning four games. My worst case scenario, I very well could see this team going to 0-17. And I'm not saying that as a joke. I'm I'm this serious. I could definitely see this team going 0-17. The defense is a huge concern. Not really a big fan of the cornerback position. You have concerns at linebacker. I mean, you signed the million linebackers in free agency, so we don't even really know who's going to be starting. You lost J.J. Watt, your best pass rusher on defense. Like, there were a lot of holes pretty much at every single position on defense for Houston outside of safety with Justin Reed. So, I mean, there are holes on offense. The wide receiver position isn't all that great. Quarterback probably won't be all that great. You're pretty solid at running back with David Johnson, Phillip Lindsay. But, I mean, there's not really a lot of talent on this team. So, I mean, I think that the worst case scenario for Houston, this team very well could go 0-17. They very well could be the first team in NFL history to not win a game with the new 17-game schedule. I mean, this is a really tough schedule. 
Jacksonville, that's a winnable game. Then you got to face Cleveland. Carolina's going to be pretty good this year. Buffalo, New England, Indianapolis, Arizona, the Rams, the Dolphins, the Titans. I mean, this schedule isn't easy, man. And I mean, if you're a Texans fan, you can dislike the video and call me an idiot all you want to. But look at this schedule and honestly, tell me, honestly, how many wins on this schedule can you really say the Texans have a chance of winning? Like, how many games on this schedule do you actually realistically think the Texans can win? Not really too many. Maybe two or one. So my worst case scenario for Houston is 0-17. Before I get into my overall record prediction for the Houston Texans this year, I want to talk about my two biggest swing games for the Texans, which are going to be week one against Jacksonville and week 12 against the New York Jets. That week one matchup against Jacksonville I think is really big because if they're able to win that game, then I think you get a lot of momentum heading into the next upcoming weeks, which you're going to need a big morale boost in the locker room because the schedule is going to be absolutely brutal. And on top of that, the Jacksonville Jaguars are probably going to be the only team in this division who you're probably going to have a chance of probably being the favorite to beat. Then that New York Jets game week 12 is going to be another interesting game because that's probably going to be the second game and probably the last game of your schedule that you have a legitimate shot of not only winning but being a favorite to win also. So my overall record prediction for the Houston Texans is 1-16. I know a lot of Houston Texans fans are probably going to dislike the video. You're going to call me an idiot down in the comment section down below. But honestly, how many wins do you see on this schedule? Honestly. Honestly, how many winnable games do you see? Well, every game is winnable because anything can happen. It's the NFL. But I think this is going to be a really rough season. A really rough season. And I know a lot of you Texans fans are going to hate to see me have your team only winning one game. But I mean... The team isn't really all that great. And the team wasn't all that great last year. And the only reason you were able to win four games was because of Deshaun Watson. Now you don't have Deshaun Watson. So there's a legitimate chance that this team probably could go 0-17. But I was being generous. Maybe they can steal a game against Jacksonville or somebody and go 1-17. Because it's pretty hard to win no games on the 17-game schedule. Something can happen. Maybe they can win 2-3. or three, But I think this team probably is the worst, most least talented team in the NFL right now. And I know it seems like I'm bashing the Houston Texans. Which I'm not trying to do this for it to be intentional. I'm just giving you guys an honest analysis of this team. And a lot of you Texans fans can say, you don't know what you're talking about but i mean it's just all it's just reality you have so many positions of needs you brought in multiple linebackers like there's just so many holes in this roster it's just really hard for me to see this team winning like three games honestly i could see them winning two games but honestly i really think that they're going to end up going one and 16 and they're probably going to have the number one overall pick in next year's 2022 nfl draft so let me know your record prediction for the houston texans down in the comment section down below make sure that you guys like the video subscribe to the channel for more nfl videos and content also make sure that you guys follow me on my social media pages my instagram and twitter is both jt sports underscore the link to those are down in the description down below and thanks for watching